Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I'm a comedy musician and a comedy music fan, and this week I'm reacting to something a little special. Now, I had originally intended on reacting to the second stupendium song about Hitman 2 from a couple years ago. And then he mentioned on Twitter that he was remastering a song for this coming week from a couple years ago. And I said, hey, wouldn't it be funny if I was reacting to the same song? Uh, I'm doing a, a particular one because the third game in that series is coming out this week. And he replied with, oh no. So it turns out, Stupendium is remastering the second. And in fact, if you're seeing this when it hits my YouTube today on Friday, that video by Stupendium should be out already. However, if you're one of my Patreon patrons, you get to see this early. Now, what Stupendium tells me is that the song the, and video are essentially the same. He's just remastered the music, uh, re-recorded the vocals, I think, uh, and uh, is doing that for this edition of the song. So that's cool. Uh, but he sent me it early so that I could react to it to have it in time for my Patreon patrons. So if you want to be in on the things and get to see these videos before anybody else sees them when they go live on Friday, you can check me out at patreon.com slash insaneian. Of course, you know, you can just see them when everybody else sees them by subscribing here on my channel. Like, share, all that good stuff. Leave me comments. I appreciate it, but special thanks to Stipendium for sending me this early. With all that out of the way, let's react to some Hitman song thingy stuff. Do words, buttons. And I love the Hitman games anyway, so I play a bunch of them here on my channel that I did years ago. Check it out. <clears throat> that is quality stuff. Kind of looks like that's right from the game. <laughs> they are just some gorgeous looking games, I will there's say. A shape in the shadows, there's a chill in the air, but he won't let you get rattled. You won't know that he's there. There's no way to do battle when you're caught unaware. One blink and he'll be gone and you'll be dead in your chair. Or is he even there? Can you even prepare for a wreck? Give me in a second into catching the glare Of the barrel and the bullets already in the air All the chemicals already have your vision impaired So far this song is awesome But it's not... It's not comedic yet Which is going to be an interesting spin to have to do Considering this is a comedy musician reacts To comedy music uh, I was not expecting It to be as deadly serious I mean, it, Hitman's a deadly serious game, but there are elements of humor in the games. I'm wondering if we'll 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 get any of that in this song now, because uh, Stupendium's known for his humorous songs. It's one of the things that drew me to to their work. Uh, but you know, I'm we're not getting any of that in the opening yet. It's still great. It sounds fantastic. Uh, not having heard the original version, obviously. That's why it catches me unawares. That's why I'm not aware of what's the difference between this and the, the, the remastered version. Uh, obviously, the music he says has sounds better, so. Yeah. As you try to place the face of that Samaria When you're gonna win the race or find the brakes on there On a knife edge, place the clean fuse and the flare Last breath with the glove in your hat He's an altar with disguise He's an altar with the knife He will catch it by surprise Just to crack and you ignite There we go The exploding ducks They are quality things And he's picking up on all of the things about the games that I really enjoy Is that you can tackle the missions in any way that you like And use whatever disguises you want Or just go in dressed as the hitman It's kind of hard to miss the bald dude with the Barcode tattoo on the back of his head, but you know Stealth Also, apparently my cats are outside the room causing a ruckus 
there's no fault or a demise Were you happy with your life? Cause it didn't have the time left to flash before your eyes The blinking eyes The second the first come across 47 Because before you've drawn a breath And 47 got you on the floor forgetting If you only could pause a second Cost all destiny All what's meant to be No protection we all can reckon the cause of death will be 47 I get the title now, The Second. It's not specifically talking about the second game. It's talking about the second you realize you're going to be taken out by 47. The, the second you have left in life. That's, that's a really good twist on that. I dig that. Uh, this, is, this is obviously awesome. And this is right in my wheelhouse of things that I love because it's about a game I really, really enjoy quite a lot. Like I said, uh, I had a Let's Play series called Insane Tuesdays that went on hiatus for a lot longer than we planned, considering quarantine stuff. But uh, we played Hitman 2 a lot on that. There's a playlist about those. Uh, but uh, this is really awesome. Again, though, not nearly as hilarious as his other songs. I'm not getting as many jokes on that, which is... This will be the first... For a comedy musician reacts not reacting to a comedy song. But I'm not going to pass up the opportunity afforded to me by him sending me the song early. I'm grateful for that. And the game footage is just awesome. That's something. It's something I've noticed. Uh, Eddie Izzard does a great joke about American versus English pronunciation. You know, uh, we say aluminium... Americans say aluminum. Uh, we say herb. We, 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 you say herb, we say herb because there's an effing H in it. Uh, biopic. It's biopic. Like, biopic makes more sense. Biopic would be the secondary version of myopic. Myopic meaning singular vision. You have very myopic views about something. And biopic would be because my meaning one by being two so biopic would mean you have a dual vision about something and bio pic meaning biographical picture that's why a, a film is called a biopic because it's a biographical picture not a biopic biopic and myopic would be similar this is just Again, I could be completely wrong on those, but this is where I've come to define with the pronunciations. I was even on the radio about that recently, really weirdly. Eh, just, you know, things that I pick up on and weird language things I hear and this. Same as yesterday, oh, there's a new chef today. I'm sure he can prepare that very rare fish in that special way. <laughs> also, we can't find the guy we hired just to touch your plates, plus all of your henchmen went and left to go investigate. The sound of a coin on the ground, and not a shred of evidence will ever be found. Just pushing the people off the facilities with no one around. Be the tragic how a man can accidentally drown. <laughs> Alright, now that verse was actually pretty decent in, in the jokes. Only because all of those are exactly things you can do in that game, and it's just kind of funny how nonchalant everybody plays them off, too. Oh, it's an accidental death. A giant chandelier fell and killed someone. Or, oh no, your new chef, who's supposed to be the same chef you've always had, has accidentally cut the poisonous fish wrong so that you actually are poisoned by it. The game is amazing if you haven't played it. You literally can do so many different ways of killing people or just kicking somebody off to their death like they showed in that clip. Uh, it's, it's a fantastic series. The new game has it in VR on PlayStation, and I'm really looking forward to doing that, because I have PlayStation VR, and oh man, that's gonna be weird. Anyway. You've locked the door, you're in your most secure quarters when it's been a little while since your security reported in a sudden thought. My favorite thing in the game, you just got hit by a briefcase. 
in Hitman 2, <clears throat> the briefcases accidentally were homing briefcases. Like, you could throw it at somebody, and if they turned a corner, the briefcase would turn the corner and follow them. It was amazing. It was a wonderful uh, thing. You, you couldn't kill people with it, just knock them out. But, uh, but, like, they realized it was in there, and, like, people were like, don't patch it, it's awesome. So they kept it in for a little bit, and then they, they finally patched it out. And then, in one of the updates later, they had a briefcase that was specifically a homing briefcase. So you had to do a certain thing to get this specific briefcase in the game as one of your unlocked weapons. But there are actual homing briefcases in the game that you can unlock. That's brilliant. That's so good. And to have that pop up in the video, uh, and again, as a person who is a gamer as well as a fan of this type of stuff, I absolutely love that. That's great. And then you'll wish you'd put your snorkel in and find your body bobbing in the mortuary of porcelain. No one ever recalls the second. Killing a Santa is one of the greatest things ever. That's so good. In a sudden force, and then you'll wish you'd put your snorkel in and find your body bobbing in the mortuary of porcelain. The mortuary of porcelain is great too. Hippo. Oh, I love that level. Burning Man. Kind of. Most people went to bed and they simply never woke. Take solace in the knowledge that your death will be bespoke and craft. That's so good. It's, I mean, there's, that's the thing, it's not as funny as his other songs, and some would argue it's not funny at all. I still find some humor in it, but it's based on knowing of the game. But there are still fantastic lines in the song, your death will be bespoke, handcrafted. Because 47 is usually always in that impeccable suit. That's a fantastic line. There, there are great lines in this song that help describe uh, the game very well and the world of the game. And, uh, and uh, I'm sold on this. I love this. Of course I do. Stupendium is great, and we've established that on this show a few times. Pull it back a little bit. Yeah, that whole burning section, uh, that is a fun level. It's difficult to, to get that particular death going, but it, it I'm gushing. I'm really looking forward to Hitman 3 coming out this week. <laughs> Hopefully by the time this video comes out for everybody else, I'll have gotten it. I pre-ordered it and I'm just waiting for it to say that it's shipped. Because I like disc games. Physical games. Could be working at Burger King Strict Nine in your onion rings. <laughs> That's great. Again, not as funny, but there are some funny lines. Uh, I dig that. And yeah, that's the thing that like I don't like about the Hitman movies. There's a lot of things I don't like about the Hitman movies, but they they don't really ever fully explore the a lot of the things that you can do in the games. There's maybe one or two instances, in, one instance in each movie where they have 47 disguise himself, but it's not really anything more than just a quick scene. Um, I feel a sneeze coming on, so I pardon if I sneeze. But, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely something that I enjoy in the games that I wish they explored more in the film versions. And I talked about that on a podcast I do, or did, called IP Consultants. We had a whole episode about Hitman and how it worked better as a... a series possibly on like Netflix or something rather than a movie because it's able to tell the story a little bit more and plus the plot line of the new games that began with 2016's Hitman would work really well in an episodic TV series because the chapters in the game were released episodically originally. They didn't do that with the sequel or the third one but the first game was released in episodic parts so each chapter was released separately before the whole game was done.
which was a uh, really interesting way to release the game, I thought. And I also enjoy that you can play those chapters in the new games, too. So you can play all of Hitman 1 in Hitman 2, assuming you already had Hitman 1, the levels carry over, and it just improves everything. Graphical updates and the new things that you could do in the new game, you can also do with the Hitman 3 for the previous two games, assuming you already owned them. <laughs> Got a little wordy there. Sorry, back to the song. Go back a little. Nice. That's a really impressive video thing. He knew when to look up for all three. I mean, because you plot that when you're filming the video, but it's still, he timed it with the other clones of himself to do that. And also, having clones of Stupendium there is great because technically 47 is a clone too. He's got parts of other different people all... Or at least in the original games, that was the thing. I don't... They haven't really gotten into that if that's what 47 is in the new games, because it's kind of a reboot of the series. Uh, reel it back a little bit. That one train of uh, of, of rhymes past the, uh, the with the Burger King line and the underlings and the underthings, that was great too. I really dug that. When you can't live for atmosphere It's the last beat As your heart perceives the formula The red streak when the beam hits your cornea Great timing I feel if you run intended last meal The <laughs> weather's death where you forget to check the blast seals The sunset as your body's doing cartwheels Straight over the edge of a ledge Or it's the hard steel Scraping on your ribs as your ship will run expire It's the first red flick on your impeccable attire It's the throat torn to shreds as you're dying to perspire as your fingernails are fine, it's the timing of the wire. It's a second to forgive, it's a second to forget. Every second you have lived for the second of regret. Every second is a gift, so be careful how you spend. Cause the second that you met him is the second that it ends. I love the 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 multiple meaning of the second in the title being with all of those. That is excellently done. Uh and something that you find in hip hop a lot too, but it's it's expertly done here in this instance. I really enjoy that. And just the description of all the different ways 47 can kill you with the carat wire or drowning or pushing or it's, it, I love this song. I'm all, of course I'm gonna love this song. I love the game. And this is just another expertly crafted song about an excellent game. What he does. Yeah. Nice. And catches the shell. All right. It's great. So that was the second, the remastered version. There is no outro card on my version because uh, he's still working on that, but lots of Patreon names there. Uh, special thanks to the Stupendium for, uh, for sending me that early so I could react to the best quality version of the song uh and uh, thanks for being so open and uh engaging with your fans uh is, that's uh that's really excellent uh if you enjoyed this uh please check out the stupendiums video without me yammering over it the link is in the description uh and also hey stupendium if you plan on doing a song about the third game and you need somebody to play mr gray i'm available but anyway, thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Was I ever in the Brotherhood at any point in time? Honestly, uh... if you ask me, it wasn't in this timeline. I checked through my back issues, and I'm not going to defend this, but it happened in a story penned by Brian Michael Bendis. Who? Let's end this line of questions. Yes, I'm, I'm here to kill you. you. Ah! And once it's done, I'm the one you need to send the bill to. I'm the mouthy mercenary.